me give you an appropriate introduction. Of course, the drummer for Queen, a prolific songwriter, and that really high falsetto during Bohemian Rhapsody, Roger Taylor joins us. Hello. Uh, well, Hello, Roger. <laughs> you know, your speaking voice sounds way too low to be able to sing that it. high. <laughs> it's so British. Uh, well, I, I, I've actually just had a bit of a head cold, so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty, uh, uh, a lot better, actually, but uh, it's probably a little lower than it normally is. You but, sound uh, sexy. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll use it again. <laughs> well, you know, you guys with the British accents, the American yeah, women. Yeah, we know, do. They just. We love it. Yeah, but, you know, if, uh, if you speak like you're from Jersey, you. Jersey, you don't get the same respect in London. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Roger, I have to tell you, I think this whole Queen Extravaganza thing that you've been doing is really interesting. I've been following along. Oh, on thank the, you. Yeah, I've been following along on the website. We actually played Mark. Oh, God, what's his name? Um, Mark Martel. Phenomenal. Absolutely extraordinary, yeah. He's even got the same bone structure as Freddie. That's crazy. It, quite, he, yes. he did. He, yeah. Out of all of them, he looks the closest to Freddie. And, and that was found on Facebook, was it? No, it was the... Co- yeah. It was the Queen Extravaganza. Yeah, the concept putting together. Was this your your idea originally? Um, where did this yes, come from? Yes, it was. I, I'm guilty. Yeah. Um, really, I'm, I'm not even looking for lookalikes. You know, I, yeah. we don't want some kind of uh, lookalike band. But I, I just want a great band to represent our music. Um, you know, in in this age, uh, mm-hmm. obviously, you know, Brian and I are not not as young as we were, and. Um, I, I want a young, exciting, dynamic band, and we're, we're going to devise a fantastic show to showcase our music. Really, you know, that's so exciting. It, it, is it is it kind of a torch passing, or is it just um, in addition to? Yeah, uh, good good sort of analogy, really. Um, I guess it's uh, Brian and I do still work together. I mean, we worked with Adam Lambert the other day in uh, for MTV Europe, mm-hmm. and. Um, that was interesting, but it's very occasional, really. This, I guess, in a way, we just want, yeah, we want somebody to, to sort of carry the torch for us, um, and but we don't want them to be imitations of us. We want them to play our music, and uh, I want to, you know, we're giving a lot of thought to this show to make it spectacular and and musically great, but entertaining as well. There'll be a lot of um, uh, uh, variation in the show, a lot of dynamic. To you it. know, I, I'm sorry I never got a chance to see you and uh, when Paul Rogers was doing the Queen tour with you. Mm. Was... Yeah, Paul was great, actually. I, I love his voice to bits. Um, and... he, I mean, he, he's very long way from Freddie, you know. Yes. A very different end of the spectrum, but... He was one of Fred's favorite singers ever. You know? I was really impressed. And he's that he, still got the voice. Yeah, that he, he didn't try to do Freddie, you know, when he was with you. Exactly. He, he was Paul, yeah. w- which was really a nice twist on it. Although yeah. there's, there's only one Freddie, and I, I don't know that any rock and roll singer will. I know Adam, Adam Lambert's been compared to him, but I don't know that there'll yeah. ever be another rock and roll singer that could sing like Freddie Mercury. That. Well, I think that's maybe true, and, and but it's not what we're trying to do. You know, is that mm-hmm. we're not trying to get imitations, as, as right. I was saying. Um, uh, we we just want the music represented uh, in a great way, and I think to go along the absolutely trying to do the, an impersonation is is absolutely the wrong way to do it. This has got to be a great band that stands on its own. I think. So, is this the end of Queen ever touring? I mean, putting this together, getting oh, this on the road, or is there a chance you might go back out again with Brian and? Well, we're actually talking about it right now. Um, we've had some sort of very great offers Good. Um, to do some stuff in the summer, maybe. Um, but uh, actually, maybe with Adam, because uh, Adam works very well with us. But uh, I'm, there was really nothing finalized yet, so wow. uh, that... I'll be I'll be speaking ahead of things, did... really. But um, we sorry, want to, we Wolf, want... did you just cinch the deal for Lambert? <laughs> That's what I heard. Well, I, th- I did too. I think Lambert. I mean, the compa- it's a natural comparison. He's certainly got the vocal range, and he's got the uh, look, personality. On yeah, sh- you know, he's got that. Yeah, drama. Yeah, I mean, Brian and I love love him to bits. Actually, we, he is fantastic on stage. He he has the tremendous charisma, and he's got a range like I've never heard. Yeah, you know, um, ex- extraordinary. Actually, it's um, like three octaves or something. It's incredible. Now, yeah, what yeah. was what was your uh, your because you did the really high falsetto part in Bohemian Rhapsody? What is the top of your uh, of your range? Is it? 
I don't know. I think it was uh, somebody told me once it was top F, I think, but I, I, I'm, uh, I'm not sure if that's right. That's pretty but high. I, I don't think I, I can't get up there. I, it was a lot of it was full voice actually. A lot, I can't get up there these days, but I can still get pretty high in well, Ro- full voice. Roger, I encourage everybody to check out uh, queenextravaganza.com dot com is the website, correct? And thank you. Yeah, that, I mean the, the the level of the quality of the of the applicants has just been st- stunning, yeah. and we put the band together next week in L.A. Terrific! Right. I can't That's wait cool. to can't wait for it. I'd love to uh, see you guys when you come on tour. Roger Taylor, thank you very thank much. Thank you so Roger. much Bye. for talking with us. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me.